Welcome to the all new Hey Girl podcast. I'm your host, Bethany Needham. And I'm your co-host, Jen Parker. And we are so excited to finally be launching this thing. Woo woo! We have been dreaming about this for a long time. Quite a while. Yeah, many Friday morning coffee dates, Mm -hmm. tears, laughter, sticky notes. Lots of coffee. Yeah, a lot of coffee went into this. Um, But I have to say, I was probably the slowest one to jump on the whole podcast bandwagon. I kept sending you them. I'd be like, you need to listen to this. It's so good. Podcasts are awesome. And finally, I gave in. And you're right. There's some really good podcasts out there. So hopefully someday we will be among them. (laughs) A great podcast. Absolutely. But for now, we'll join the ranks of all the starting podcasts. Of awkward ums and uhs. Um, So for that, there was. For me, I would say I really started thinking seriously about this at Simply Beautiful last fall, which is a girls' conference that you and I get to do together. Mm -hmm. Super exciting. And we had a moms and mentor kind of breakout session and such an awesome experience to be in that room with all those women Mm -hmm. And just kind of realizing that these are women from all different stages in life, all different ages, obviously each of them with their own story, but just having that time where we came together and were encouraged together through God's word and just that it was so powerful that we could all find this, um, just this common thread of Mm -hmm. faith in Jesus Christ, despite the fact that we all had very different things going on in our lives. And so I thought my dream after that conference would be to sit down with every single one of those women with a cup of coffee and just hear their stories. I thought it'd be awesome. Totally realistic. You have all the time in the world. You're not busy at all. That's a great idea. That's what I keep telling my boss. Mm -hmm. But there's like a vacation day thing. I don't know. So we decided maybe we'll do a podcast and we'll bring these women on because... Between the two of us, we've been in New England for mm, maybe two decades, let's let's say that. (laughs) It's been a while. We get the privilege of seeing women all around these states just doing amazing things for Jesus Mm. and just running their races and doing small things, but for the kingdom. And so we Mm. thought, wouldn't it be so great to bring these women on, give them a place to share their voice, share their passion, share their heart for New England, for Jesus, for this kingdom, and let you hear about it as we talk to them and drink coffee. So we hope this will bless you. We hope that you will feel significant doing your thing in your place as you hear their stories. I get goosebumps just hearing you give the explanation. (laughs) That's good. That's good. We're moving. We're moving people's hearts already. Yes, we're already crying. Um, No, we are so excited. And honestly, we just want this to be a podcast that is an encouragement, that it is something that no matter where you are listening to it, Mm -hmm. maybe you have the luxury of a cozy chair and a cup of coffee in a quiet room, or maybe you got three babies hanging off your legs and you got your earbuds in just trying to have a moment. Um, just wherever you are, Mm -hmm. we want to encourage you that you are not alone, that you got a lot of sisters out there Mm -hmm. and all of us, um, are on this journey together. So I'm excited. I'm excited. So let's jump in. Let's hear about you because people always, we jump in, we're going to tell lots of stories, but this first one, you're going to hear a little bit about us and our story and why and where we're from. So Miss Bethany, tell us. A little 30-second elevator pitch about you. Ooh, elevator pitch. Um, So I grew up a pastor's kid. Um, Moved around quite a bit when I was a kid. I was born in New England, but we uh, left shortly after I was born. Did a little time down south. So um, just long enough to realize I am no Southern Belle. And then we moved to Canada and I, we actually lived there for about 10 years before we came back to New England. And so I've been in New England since I was 16 years old, actually. We wow. moved back at 16. Okay. So I'm not going to tell you how long that's <laughs> been, but it's been a while. <laughs> um, so I've been married to my husband, Andy, um, Andy Needham from 
the uh, previous Andy Needham band. Mm. Yeah. He's a rock my, star? Okay. He's totally a rock star. Mm-hmm. Um, we've been married, this is 15 years for us, this fall. We've got two kids. Josiah is 13, our first Whoa. teenager. Mercy is 11. And then we have my fur baby, Fenway. Mm-hmm. Of course. We live in a big old house. Um, and by old, I mean really old, like 1707 old. And um, I actually work full time at my church. I'm the youth director at Chapel of the Cross in Westboro. If you're looking for a church and you're in the area, <laughs> check us out. Um, and yeah, I, I guess I would say for me, just some of the outside things I mentioned, the girls conference we run, love being a part of the Simply Beautiful team mm-hmm. and reaching teen girls in this area and that kind of one day conference that we do. I do some traveling and speaking in the area at different women's conferences. I really, really enjoy that. Um, And when I'm not running around and busy in ministry and doing all these things, I am someone who loves to curl up with a book. And I love to read and I love to be outside in nature as much as possible. Absolutely. All right. That's a good 30-second elevator pitch. Thank you. That's me. Nice. How about you, lady? Okay, so I'm not originally from New England. Oh. I'm from, I know, I'm sorry. This podcast is over. It's over. Um, I'm from Pennsylvania. I'm from a small, small town of 2,000 people. Love there it. There is not even a stoplight in my town. <laughs> yeah. Even the Gilmore Girls had a stoplight. Come on. Also, I don't like Gilmore Girls. We can talk about that later, but that's another one. You're really building the haters. I know. <laughs> I have many other loves, so don't worry. <laughs> I have been in New England since I went to college. I went to Gordon College and yeah. love, love, love the North Shore of Boston. I met my husband at Gordon. Um, we have been married since 2001, so 16 Not years 16. this year. Yeah. Um, we have three kids, Sadie, Owen, and Charlie. We call him Sir Charles sometimes because he's fancy because he's love the baby. him. And we have been at our church. My husband is a youth pastor, and we have been there 13 years. Wow. So I have been in youth ministry myself since I was 19. Wow. I know. Please, we're not going to do any any math in any of these (laughs) things. And I have been a volunteer youth worker since the very beginning, and now I am the volunteer kids ministry leader at our church and I also lead women's bible study which I love I didn't think I would love it because I've always worked with kids or youth I Mm. love weird middle schoolers they're my jam but ladies bible study I love ladies and this podcast I just feel is so great to connect with women and I just love it Mm. so um that's me in a nutshell love it um so you mentioned your family Mm. And I just thought maybe I would give you the opportunity to share my favorite Parker family story before (sighs) I tell the world of your epic mothering skills. And I'm not being sarcastic. In the moment that this story happened, I thought to myself, this woman needs to write a book. Um, it's so funny because this this moment that I'm going to share is so etched on your mind. <laughs> but for me, it was just a normal event in my life. So my, my children are ages 10, 7, and then I have a 2-year-old. So there was a big gap in between. And so with my first two, I, I guess I should also say that I'm really type A. I'm super anal. I'm like the crazy lady who cleans and... Like, with my first two, that was me. And then by the time Charlie came along, I just let it all go. (laughs) Like, he is truly the baby of the family. Like, he gets away with things. We're like, oh, this is our last baby. Like, oh, we just have to save every moment. And, of course, you can have candy, honey. Like, it's just bad. You're perfect. But anyway, so when he was about... He's chubby. I should mention that. We should. He's pop. perfect. We'll throw up a picture of him on our website just so you can see him. But you he's... really need to follow her on Instagram because this child cannot be described in words. You need to see every photo. <laughs> he's super chubby. So when he was about 13 months old, he was not walking yet. 
And in my mind, as an older mom with, you know, this little, you know, last baby, I was not in any hurry for him to walk whatsoever. So Bethany's over at my house one day. We're just having coffee and Charlie's just kind of crawling around. And he just kind of like got up on the coffee table, put his hands up on the table and stood up. And I ever so gently just <laughs> took my foot and just tapped him down. <laughs> Which Bethany was like, what are you doing? And I was like, girl, there is no reason for him to walk anytime soon. We are not rushing this. <laughs> so I was in no rush. Do you want do you want to comment on this? I mean, I think ever so gently <laughs> maybe um the perfect description of what I witnessed. But my memory was definitely I remember thinking as I saw Charles stand to his feet and he just had this look like this was going to be the moment. And you always think you'll see your kids first moments, but you never think you're going to see someone else's kids. And I was amped up and ready to go. And then out of nowhere, Bam. you just kick him to the floor gently, ever gently. so gently ever so kick gently. him to the floor. And I just... I remember how very calm and you were just like, yeah, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> and I'm not kidding when I thought this woman needs to write a book. Wow. That might be the most hilarious thing I've ever seen <laughs> a mom do. So that's always going to go down in the books okay. as one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. And I just think we should get it out there because... Listen, we're setting the bar low for you. That's mm -hmm. what I want to say. So <laughs> if you're not kicking your kids, you're doing a good job. <laughs> Congratulations, Mom of the Year. <laughs> Thank you. My trophy's in the mail. <laughs> we are launching soon. This is our initial first podcast. We want to get out there, say hello, get some followers, some listeners. But we are launching May 1st. You can start subscribing today. Find us on Instagram. Find us on Twitter. Find us on our website that's coming. Yay! You can find us at Hey Girl Pod on all those platforms. One thing you need to know, I love social media. Mm -hmm. I, if you're my friend in real life, I will text you. I will call you. If I hear something or see something that I just love, you are going to know about it. Now, we may not be friends in real life, but we are now friends. And so if we find something that we love, we're going to share it with you. And the first thing that you need to love is us. So find us. Share us, tell your girlfriends about us, and you can follow Bethany and myself on our personal pages. Get to know us. We love to interact with people, so message us, get to know us.